Yeah. yeah. I remember Ben used to say, man, this is probably years ago. He's like, I want to play hungry. I want to play hungry. Literally. You know? And yeah, and I felt, I was like, all right, I'm about to play hungry then. It's who you surround yourself with. Do you with. use Sweet. some intermittent fasting too? Um, or do you just kind of end well, up there because you work all, right, all day? I'll, I'll give you mine. So Derek's was like 15 minutes and we actually didn't establish anything that he <laughs> eats. <Okay. laughs> mine, mine will go 30 seconds of, of exactly what I eat. About four um, minutes, man. I do this. I do a, it's called strong coffee. It's like 15 grams of collagen mm-hmm. protein. Yeah, and it's only have, 120 yeah. milligram of caffeine. So it's like. We had the creator on the mm-hmm. show, right? Uh, Adam Roth. He, he told me to tell you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he cool told me dude. to say hi. Yeah. And so I have one or two scoops of that in the morning. Mm-hmm. That way, I, I don't want to have to stop and eat breakfast. I don't want to wait. That thing's instant. I'm, I'm lazy. I want to just get working. You know what yeah. I mean? And so that's what I do in the morning. And then we go pretty hard in the morning because we, we film, go, we work out. It's it's, we go kind, hard. yeah. And so, and we'll have guests come in. And so, once that finishes, I actually go to like a local place and I get a steak and eggs. I either do that or I get like a rotisserie chicken. Mm. That one of those two. Because either way, either the rotisserie chicken, I can just grab it, go home, mm-hmm. or the steak and eggs, I can sit there and then be like catching up on my mess, like start scripting for the next day. I'm always planned for each day. So. The instant coffee with 15 to 30 gram collagen protein, 10 ounce steak with three eggs or a whole rotisserie, but it's from the health food store. So it's not like that huge rotisserie. It's like a medium (laughs) sized rotisserie with paleo. Have you seen that paleo hot sauce? Paleo, Hmm. paleo something hot sauce. It's pretty good. They put some honey in there. So it's actually kind of like a sweet, it's not that spicy. And then I think I know which I forget what that's called too. Yeah, Paleo Chef, I believe it's called. Yeah, okay. And, and then for dinner, what I do, my strategy with dinner is whatever like the protein is, whether we're eating out or ordering in or cooking at home or some. I just have two servings of the protein, which mm-hmm. makes me less likely to crave the starches. So I don't do any starches. And then I like to study and see what's the seasonal fruit, and I'll pound like like a. A plate for like a king of fruit. That's like my right. dessert every night. That's smart. And I'll pound fruit for dessert. The but you focus on like what season is like this season for this fruit. Right. And so that's the fruit you use. Right. So right now, ah. right now, oranges, smart. kiwis, pears, and they taste so good because they're in season. So yeah. right now you actually have like a lot of citrus, pears, kiwis. Um, and I'm just like a king, just, you know. Delicious. And, yeah. Now, whatever the vegetable is, whatever, <laughs> you know, whatever we're having, <clears throat> If I'm craving it, I'll have some of it. So it's not like I always have vegetables, but it's not like I don't have any vegetables. Mm-hmm. You know, um, there's that whole debate going on right now about whether you should or whether they're harmful. And I, I can see both sides. So I'm just like, I have some vegetables in there. Yeah. That's what. But that's eat your vegetables, man. So like, there, it wasn't it wasn't 30 <laughs> seconds, but there's literally everything I eat. Yeah. And what I do is I don't cheat in my diet at all. I went the whole last year. There was no cheat Dang. meal ever. So, and I've rolled into this year. I love it. I, I don't want to go back. Um, and I know I'll have to with my kid. Yeah, you know what I mean? A couple years, yeah. Kid, dad, you want to go for ice cream after the game? <laughs> you know, just made my first basket. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm going to go have ice cream. So I, I say, no, son, we're celebrating steak. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we're going over to Mark's house. <laughs> That's right. Um, so I'm, I'm preparing for that because I need mm-hmm. to not have it on an addiction basis. I don't want to fall back in, If you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So. An interesting thing, though, I'm curious, like number one, when it comes to the fasting thing and the focus, I can I agree with you guys both massively on that. I notice like when I'm fasted, even when I'm doing martial arts or when I'm working, I can just I zone in on what I'm doing much easier. So that's that makes so much sense. But I'm curious because both you guys are basketball players. So um, do you, when you guys do pick a basketball or whatever, do you have anything before you play? Do you have electrolytes? Do you have anything before you play? Or are you going into this? cardiovascularly like <laughs> intensive some game water, maybe. fasted yeah. yeah i remember ben used to say man this is probably years ago he's like i want to play hungry i want to play hungry literally you know and yeah and i felt i was like all right we about to play hungry then you know so uh so we don't i don't you know i might get some tea like i'm big on this uh yerba mate tea oh yeah i like yerba mate yeah, yeah yeah i do yerba mate tea that gives me a little buzz and i, I feel better <laughs> light man like I, I tell my 19 year old son man go out there in the football field play hungry and in the less the less you got to digest, man. The more that blood is on your limbs, it's faster and quicker and jumping. Like you know what yeah. I'm saying. So and he's and he uh led the state in receiving yards this year. Shout out going to D1 Williams. Yeah, and he's going D1 football. He's a good man. kid too. He's a man. hard worker. Yeah, yeah. I'm thankful for my son. Thank you, baby. Yeah, he's a and grateful ben kid. Ben stays ready though kid. too. I wanted to say that about his diet, man. His diet, man. If so somebody's looking Derek. for a, for a, for a diet program, mm-hmm. then I've never seen this guy not with a 
15 pack. <laughs> <laughs> Just put a mirror right here because that's Derek. Mm-hmm. But that's that's who you surround yourself with. Yeah. So I can't not have a six pack <laughs> yeah. next to him. Yeah. But right. so this is the cool thing though, because a lot of powerlifters and bodybuilders are listening. <clears throat> These are athletes that typically they're like, before I hit the gym, I need to eat like, you know, two or three hours beforehand. I know it's a different type of sport, but the fact that you guys are doing such an intense sport, fasted, uh, people, it's good to realize outside of that, you're you're eating a lot. Like maybe, I don't know what time you guys eat, but what do you eat? You eat a substantial amount yeah. that keeps gets you ready to perform the next day. It's not like you're now on an empty stomach, literally. You're working from the calories you had the night before. Yeah, and that's, that's what I do too, because people are like, how do you do that fast? Well, I ate. Mm-hmm. I still ate last night. Right, so I can still perform the next day, and it's cool that you guys are doing that same thing and performing at a high level. And it's not like a, a typical bro set where you're burning like a couple hundred calories or playing basketball mm. for a couple hours and really burning some calories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But but you and Mark would be better. Like I wouldn't try to judge that for a powerlifter or a bodybuilder. Of course. Yeah. Psh, hey, little mama, let me whisper in your ear. Like, comment, subscribe to the channel because we continue to bring you peak content on this channel. Obviously, you guys are here. You guys have watched the whole video. So like, comment, subscribe. All right. See you later.